Hi, I'm Craig Phillips. Welcome to my top trade secrets. In this video, I'm going to show you how to repair different damaged sections of this old rocking chair using three C's, two in one wood repair. It's a durable elastic epoxy compound that will not shrink or crack. Once dry, you can sand, drill, plane, stain, and even paint after eight hours. Now this old rocker has been in our family for about 30 odd years, so I don't want to let it go. However, there are three main defects on it here that have been damaged. One is at the very top end there, a chunk broken out of it, leaving it very, very rough. And then there's a hole here in the actual arm bit, which of course needs cleaning out and filling. Along here where the seat is, you can see again a big chunk has broken out and that's gone all the way along the edge there and even some of the veneer along the back has come off. So I'm going to start by cleaning up all these damaged areas. Now there's a number of ways of doing this. I'm using a four inch grinder with a coarse sanding pad on. Now I want to sand down all the damaged area. Of course I don't want to get it too smooth because I want my repair compound to key to the surface better. I also want to take off a little bit of the varnish that's close to the edges where I'm applying the filler. Now the damaged section on the arm is quite a deep crevice, so the filler is going to bite into that quite well. I'm just going to sand around the edges of the damaged area. Likewise with the seat section, there's only a small damaged area there, so I'm going to sand down all the way along the edges of the crack and then take an orbital sander and just take off them final edges, making sure it's nice and clean and there's no varnish on the wood where I'm applying the filler. Now this is a two-part wood repair filler, but in one cartridge. So I'm using a standard silicone gun. I'm squeezing this out, getting a small amount onto a board, and then I'm going to take my scraper and start to mix this up for a couple of minutes so you get a nice smooth consistency and making sure it's all one colour. Then using the same scraper, you can start to apply your mix filler to the damaged areas, making sure that you're not getting any air pockets underneath the wood filler. Spread this out like you're buttering a piece of toast and put a little bit more on than you'd normally do to allow to be sanded down. One of the main benefits of using a two-in-one from the same cartridge assures you that you have an equal amount of epoxy filler and hardener, so no measuring is required, you just need to mix it. Wood repair two-in-one can be applied easily and simply, making it a very useful product for anyone from home DIYers to trade professionals certainly want to keep in the toolbox. Now I left this to completely dry overnight and then I sanded it down using an orbital sander and a grade 60 sanding paper. Once I'd done this I moved up to a 160 to give it a smoother finish. Then I finish it off just with a light piece of sandpaper. Of course, if you don't have an electric sander, you can do it by hand using different grades of sandpaper. Once I finished sanding the new filler down, I then sanded the rest of the body of the chair because it had some form of varnish or lacquer that was on there and I want my new paint to key to it. So I give it a really good sanding down and dusted it off. Now I'm going to be painting it in French Eek's furniture paint and I'll probably apply two or three nice thin coats using my Wagner handheld paint sprayer. Now my first coat of paint has had about four hours to dry. I'm going to give it a quick inspection and then I'm going to sand it down again with a very light sandpaper, about 180 grade, before applying a second coat of paint. Once this second coat is dry, repeat the process, giving it a light sanding down and then apply a third coat of paint. Now the chair's had three coats of paint and it's dry. I'm going to apply a French Eeks finishing coat over the top to make it more durable. I'm going to apply this with my sprayer, so I've diluted it down by 10%. Once I've sprayed it once, I'll leave it to dry and apply a second coat. 
Now this is just one kind of repair that you could do out of hundreds of different things both inside and outside your house when you use 3C's 2-in-1 wood repair. If you're looking for more inspiration or how-to videos, check us out on social media and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you just want to know more about the vast range of products that 3C offer, just check out their website.